Hi everybody and welcome to Wendy's Creative Corner. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you. Um, I have had my Smashbook for, um, well I guess actually since they ever came out. I have the orange Smashbook. I've never really used it, um, but I've been inspired by quite a number of you um, to get started on it. Um, everybody has, I guess, their own take on a Smashbook. Uh, mine in particular, because I'm not participating in Project Life, um, I've kind of named my Smashbook uh, Day in the Life of 2012. So it will be bits and pieces of things that take place uh, throughout 2012 that maybe necessarily I don't want a scrapbook. I uh, just want something quick, simple um, to get the picture out there done and journaled. Um, so having said that, I just wanted to show you how I've kind of organized myself uh, to get started so I have everything kind of at hand and I'm not really, um, you know, running all over the place for different supplies. Um, so what I've done is I've had this um, old uh, carrying case um, that I purchased at Michael's. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've gone through my supplies and I've said to myself, for this Smashbook, I will only use the supplies that I have. Um, I want to use up this older stuff that I have. I will only use scrap paper for this project and I will not cut into anything new as well. So having said that, um, I went through all of my embellishments and pulled out stuff that I thought maybe I would be able to use um, in my smash book. And again, these are much older supplies, some new, some old. Um, but I just wanted to show you a couple things that I pulled out. I've got some cat scrappiness. I've got some stickers here, some ticket tabs. Again, I've got um, some more stickers, 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 border stickers. Um, cardstock stickers. I've included some rub-ons. Um, of course here I've got um, some bags, some tags, and I've got some Martha Stewart labels. And here I've included all of my smash supplies that I have. So my, I've got these um, clips. I've got quite a number of the smash pads. Um, I've got again some more tabs. I've got paper clips. Um, and then again I've pulled my own tags that I have in my own stash. And in the front here um, I've got some these are flip flap page protectors and it's where I can put a number of pictures together on one page. Again, some more stickers, some all kinds of fun embellishments, you know, tags, journaling tags, some flowers, so on and so forth. So um, I've started with this and to go along with that, obviously, um, I've got my assortment of thickers that I'm going to be using. So I will use those in um, my smash book. And this is where I store all of my scrap paper in these 12 by 12 um, containers from Michaels. And I've labeled it pattern paper. So as you can see here, I've got quite a bit of pattern paper. Um, old collections, newer collections. It just goes on and on and on. I have so much of it and you know, what do you do with it after a while? So I've said to myself, I'm going to use only from the pattern paper scraps that I have on hand. And then last but not least, um, you will probably see quite a bit of washi tape in my smash book. Um, I haven't really used it yet on a layout, um, but I'm told myself I'm going to be using it in my smash book. So this is what I have as of now uh, for um, washi tape. And then of course, you know, if I use some stamps, my inks, um, and then last but not least, this is my 
orange smash book that I have comes with the pen and the glue. Um, and as you can see, I've um, this is the first page here, and I've just titled it using recollections um, stickers, a day in the life of 2012, as I want it to represent different days of the months of the weeks of just things that happen. Um, again, very similar to Project Life. I will be putting it in chronological order of, of dates as the events take place. Um, and it'll just be a random, random events that take place. So I'm really looking forward to starting this. Um, and I just wanted to show you how I've kind of gone about to get myself organized for this project. And I hope to stay on top of it. As I said, a lot of um, number of you have really inspired me to to get this going. And um, I think as I start doing the smashing, um, I'm going to feel um, like I've really um, gotten ahead of maybe scrapbooking because the pages are not as large. Um, I can maybe cut down on my pictures, you know, smaller size pictures to put a number of them on each pages. So there's all kinds of things that I'm looking forward to. So anyway, I just thought I'd give you a quick start into um, the beginnings of my smashing. Anyway, until the next time, we'll see you later. Bye now.